Hey viewers, hey guys, Cameron's Corner. Um, <laughs> fucking GoPros, I tell ya. We're gonna call this side just rant. Yep. Well, after some GoPro issues, because I reckon GoPros are fucked because they keep powering down at 30% battery when you know you only want to do like fucking two minutes of fucking, <laughs> fucking footage. So anyway, I'm back on. So we're at, uh, everyone's packing up. Out my back here. Uh, everyone's packing up because they're all going to Birdsville. There's like 10,000 people going to Birdsville, but we're going in the opposite direction. Uh, we're going to Farina. And we met some great people last night and uh, they um, had a fire and sun come by air and all that good stuff. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so this is Cameron's Corner. So this is the corner of New South Wales, Queensland and South Australia. I'll get some footage of the survey post over there. Where? Oh, yeah. So anyway, we... Um, it's like peak hour traffic here at the moment, fueling, and I'm glad I refueled yesterday. So there's a survey marker, an ex-Vietnam vet. Um, I think he camped out here when he got out of the army in the 80s. Uh, set up this store, saw all the traffic. He's sadly passed away now. Um, and apparently, morning, I'm gonna have a bit of a rant because, morning, the new owners, live in Victoria so if anyone who knows knows someone that 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 knows the owners of Victoria tell them to fucking get their shit into gear because there was like uh, nearly a hundred people here last night they haven't renewed their license for the kitchen couldn't serve meals they've got Wi-Fi charge people ten bucks each for Wi-Fi my fucking god how hard is it the poor people, uh, they're only, um, they're traveling, but they're, 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 they're doing a loop. They're doing the season here. They, they don't own the place. The owners are in Victoria and they, you know, they don't even, haven't ordered the food, haven't ordered, renewed the license, which is disappointing because we would have bought a pub meal. And I'd say the other 80 people that stayed here last night would have too. So if you're watching this, renew your fucking license. Anyway. You got a powered campsite at the back here. Um, and then I'll show you, the pub's pretty iconic. A lot of uh, army convoys back in my day, we used to stop here on the way to our ex exercise long haul or whatever we used to do. And there's a lot of memorabilia inside, which I'll get some uh, footage of. There's a book exchange in there, nurse, so too. There you have it, Cameron's Corner. That's it, it's just a corner store with no food, just petrol and $10 for camping. I think it's 25 for power site, it might be a bit 35. How about stay here? So yeah. And we're off to Farina. Let's go to Farina. Yep, so I've had my rant, that's good. But I, I, just, I still recommend stay here, but hopefully they fix things up with the food and, and that. I mean, they've had people camp across the road, for God's sake. Whoa, 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 whoa. it. 
put it in a jar to have and to hold To say for later you cannot trust it to come again To wait for you to find a pen And fill the paper with the message that it wants to send Grab it, hold it by its tail before it escapes You know its ways and you cannot lose it, that's what you fear So hold it up against your ear And very carefully listen to what it wants you to hear Whoa, 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 whoa. Gently you want it, feel it completely calm So you can hold it in your palm And help it grow just like it was born to be Come, 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 come Whoa, 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 whoa. I think 
I think the post office site said that they didn't close until 1967. Wow. When they were earning only five pounds a week because there were only six residents, I think. Jeez. So they had to close. Clearly, they weren't viable. But 1967 isn't that long ago. No. And there were people living here until the 1980s, I think it said. Only a couple. It's pretty ruinous now. So do favour. I mean, the campgrounds are great, great condition, and I just lost the max track here. Oh. And I better go pick that the up. The campgrounds are really good. They've got toilets and showers. Not much water, I don't think, but that's okay. But we found a lovely little spot. We've tucked ourselves away. It's getting a bit windy now. There's no 3G. Uh, it says that there might be some on the top of the hill, but we haven't been able to access it. So we're just popping into Lyndhurst now, which is the nearest town. It's probably about, I don't know, 10k from Farina. Hoping to get some Wi-Fi. There's a tower there. And uh, perhaps a meal at the local pub. The general store itself is closed. I'm not quite sure why. But hopefully the pub will be open and we can go and support the local economy. Otherwise we'll go back and have a tuna wrap. In a hundred years time that will be your ruins too. Perhaps so. Anyway, just had to rescue a max track. And enjoy the footage I'll just put above um, of our commentary. Uh, as you can see, very spread out for 300 I'd say it, 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 it had a graph there, 300 people. So 300 plus maximum. Yeah. At its but it was a big, big township. It, unfortunately, um, it, it, over the years, it struggled with water, yeah. and the two water courses that they had and the wells got fouled by stock and the latrines, and lot, some of the children were starting to die of waterborne diseases, typhoid, I suppose. So they, that was another time when it sort of, it sounds like it's been busy and then died off and been busy and died off and been busy and died off, doesn't it? They relied on in the turn of the century, the shearers coming in. Yeah. Spending, they, them, spending their coin. They'd the, go uh, to the Exchange Hotel, hotel. which was silver service and napkins. Or you could go to the hotel on the opposite side of the street, up the other end, which was a bit more of a working Because we've got a topper and a quilt and a 
an electric blanket that we can put onto the food on to make it bigger. Anyway, um, and the last thing was reducing the amount of stuff that we take yeah. and making more use of the outdoor boxes in a more sort of um, streamlined way. So when we're in the summer camping, we need the barbecue, but we don't need it on trips like this because yeah. we didn't even get it out. No. We cooked on the fire and the gas. Tank. And that's all we did was, yeah. So we don't need the barbecue when we're winter camping, but we don't like winter camping. So, so anyway. With yeah. dust, we don't, we don't know if we're at error because the Dometic, everyone, I'll, I'll have to do some research because I don't know if we're doing something wrong, it's installed correctly, the filter's in. We've had some people comment and say they've had nothing but rave reviews and the experiences with them on the Hib River Road and other dusty Bull Gus roads. Now we just went on the Strizlecki and the, I can't remember the road between. Malparinga no, and Dunlop Station. Yep, the and then, then that road between. Um, Bull Peru, Creek and Cameron Corner, and that was that was shocking. So we maybe we haven't sealed everything inside or on the outside to the inside, but then again, isn't it supposed to pressurise and force it out anyway? I don't know. I don't know much about it, I'm going to have to research it because yeah, it's either I go ring Dometic and it's faulty or I don't know how it could be faulty because it's no working parts, it, it's an air flowing system or where with the van, yep, it's, we bought a cheaper van but we did that knowing that because that's all we could afford at the time, um, maybe we've got to do some tweaking ourselves in, Either way, that. something needs to happen with that because every time we open the door, there's a thick layer of dust. If we're on a dirt road, yeah. On the floor and the benches and yeah. all over the bed that obviously we can't see. So some that's the main concern at the moment is the dust. Yeah. And you know, we're not hoping to re reduce the dust completely because we're not unrealistic. We've been on dusty roads and everything's covered in dust. We're covered in dust. You see Albert when, when I patty. When I patty Albert, the fucking dust goes everywhere. The car the inside is filthy. Poor Albert in the back of the canopy. I thought, yeah, I, I got the dust um, prevention kit and all that on the back. For some, and I, I think it's the vent I put in the roof as well as made more dust go in. So I don't know. Fucking dust. It's an our back. We're in the outback. Yeah, dust. we're in the outback, but we don't want dust over the interior of the caravan. And we don't have to, apparently, because other people will have the Dometic and it works. Yeah. So. I've seen a lot of caravans with mine, so that must, yeah. be, that must be good. Anyway. Let us know your thoughts, guys. I don't know. The washing line's been good. Yes, that washing line has been good. The What's slide the out kitchen has been really good. Apart from the sink not working, but the cooktop itself is great. Uh, the fridge area has been fine, it's just been covered in dust. And some of the boxes on the outside, the doors close, but they don't lock because the locks are a bit bent. So that's a bit of a problem too that we have to look at. Sarge needs a longer hose pipe for his water. Yeah, oh, that's it. Um, loved the crock bin. That's been great. Yeah, the crock bin. Thanks, uh, Anne to D for that suggestion. But empty nesters, that was good. Uh, the bathrooms, great. Really, really easy to use. It stays relatively dust-free. Yeah, and the, the kick-ass external shower. I enjoy it. Sarge enjoys his showers outside. I haven't as yet had a hot shower because the first time the gas ran out and the oh. second time the pilot had blown out. I so, know about that. So there's a lesson to be learned there. Make sure that you've got gas and always check the lights on or off in the caravan before you start having the shower. 
Anyway, um, other positives. So a few tweaks, guys. Um, but you don't know that until no. you start using it. And so. this is the first longest trip we've ever done with it. Three and a half weeks. We still get the sand out of the back. Yeah. We're all tea. Yeah. So now we've got sand and dust. You know what? We did not have dust when we did that trip. No. And that was a dusty trip. Well, not really, was it? We didn't have any dirt roads. It was only dirt road into the beach. Red sand everywhere. Is it a sand production system? <laughs> I don't know. But no, it just does. They creak. They creak that way. At times I felt like, because I want to look back at this and say, why? Yeah. So this is a bit of therapy. Therapy? Yeah. Because at times I, I felt relaxed. But at times I was on edge and I just felt like I needed to do you. I don't know. I noticed that you didn't. But this is the same as the first trip. You're not very good at sitting down and doing nothing. No, I've got to be doing something. Which is not what camping's about. But it's not always... But I can't just sit there. I don't like reading books. I like watching documentaries and stuff like that. But then I get told off that... Well, I'm not told off. Oh, but, sorry, hang on a minute. But I get, That's not fair at all. No, I well, never I once said to you, don't go. Watch well, I. I didn't. If I was on my devices, so that's because I like to watch. I download stuff to watch. I never stopped you going on your devices. Okay. No, it's not that. I think I. I don't know. There's a lot on my plate with everything going, all the crap going on in Adelaide, all the mental health crap that's been going on for me, you know, and I said to you at Charlotte Plains, I'm still fighting depression. Yeah. So, and I'm not afraid to say that, by the way. So, we're running out of memory cards. So, right that, um, that kind of trip is a good opportunity to practice putting things in boxes. But it's hard. I know it's hard. I know it's hard, Mark. If it was not hard, everybody would do it all the time, wouldn't they? It takes work, it takes consistent effort to do that. I just wasn't time. my relaxed self as I was in WA and when we did it last time. Sorry guys, this is the serious of Sergeant S, not the jovial um, okay, but this is bouncing. Part. Yeah, but you know, this we're being open. Where we are. And I've been open about my mental health and you know, and I'm trying to fix that and and it was good for me. In some parts being out, it was good for me, but I think I would rather enjoy being by the ocean in a warm climate, relaxing by the beach, jumping in the water, cooling off, kicking back. I think that's what I enjoy the most. Well, now we know, don't we? Well, yeah, and exploring. So I mean, I didn't mind. I mean, we're all restricted with our injuries. We're yeah. knee injury yeah. and that. But it just... You know, it wasn't what I expected. It, 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 this trip, it was good. Don't get me wrong. We had good moments and, and good memories, but I wouldn't rush back to our back Queensland to do it again. Well, the time with Greg and Ness was awesome. I know I'm cutting you off. I know you guys, but I'm just trying to say that it well, was. You're it, all, yeah, well, but it was. But it was. But it was fantastic. It was. It was really good. The four of us, you know, talking, drinking, our cooking over the fire, brisket, ribs, everything. I thoroughly enjoyed the time I spent with my best friends. Um, it was nice just doing nothing with them, playing games and talking shit, because that's what we do. What's happening is we're going home a day early because we're done. And, and it's cold. And it's cold. And we're we winters. don't like Are the cold. Winters? I do not like the cold. I've always said that. I'm much happier going somewhere where I can just hang out in my bikini. That is my perfect I, I day. Like, I like that too. To see you know, only, bit, hanging out in a bikini. Only. <laughs> but we thought we'd just sign off on, on the fourth instalment of the Outback Queensland.
before we go on, yeah. I will just also add that we ran out of coffee pods, which was a big oh, problem. And, that, and that, that does fucking get you down. Because that it coffee pot... It doesn't get me down, it but it gets Sarge it gets down, which down. is utterly irritating for me. Digger's coffee, I, I nearly had to get an emergency airdrop. Anyway, we ran out in the last four or five days and those coffee bags are shit. No, they're not. Oh, I reckon they are. But that coffee pod machine, that was a lifesaver every day. I fucking love that machine. Anyway, so we're going to sign off. Lots of things are happening after this, so don't worry. Um, different things, though. I'm probably going to go out on a couple of weekenders with the uh, tag along crew 4x4 so you get to see some 4x4 crew. Might get to see some more footage of Eamon Valley um, and maybe some repairs on the van. We'll do some short segments. But there's an, I'll, I'm going overseas um, in August to the United States. I'm actually going to Arizona to a veterans retreat and I want to actually do a diary entry vlog and I'm actually going to put it up on YouTube. So if you're interested, hit that subscribe, like, notifications. Um, I think it'll be interesting. I won't be able to film a lot in, in the veteran retreat, but um, I will be doing a road drive over to Las Vegas from Arizona. I'm hoping to do it in a... Um, uh, 4x4 hopefully if I can get my hands on one um, and try and get hold of some American uh, veteran overlanders over there and catch up with them so there's lots of things happening with the channel um, and there's some things happening next year don't just fucking drive and leave me alone I should have got my book out of the caravan <laughs> where were you boys stopping? She's At the bakery. Her. Which bakery? Farina. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At the Farina bakery. We're going to turn around. Stay there 119. We could have stayed there. We could have stayed 109. Got the bakery and drove home. Fuck, I did mention that and you said no. Let's go. Um, um. I've got to stop saying um, um, but, um, but, um, but. Um, 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 so, um, <laughs> so, so, like, subscribe, hit us up in comments, we uh, get back to you pretty quickly, we like to um, know what oh. you'd like to know. So hit the like, subscribe yeah, button. You just take it away, will you? Take it away. Thanks for tuning in. Hit the like, subscribe button if you'd like to see more content. If you'd like to ask any questions or you have any comments, drop them down below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. We're certainly enjoying it, aren't we? Yep. Oh! Yep. Even though we're ready to kill each other. Yeah, we are. And hit us up on the socials, Facebook and Insta. Oh, we, put some, we put a lot of pics up, so... Um, yeah, be interesting. <laughs> I'm going. This is it. We're out. It is on the socials. We yeah. put pics up. Insta, Facebook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Enjoy. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Yeah, we're out. See ya. I got sick of the dust. Yeah, we know I that. Yeah. Can you shut the fuck up for five seconds? Otherwise, we'll have to go without. Nah, we'll, we'll, don't worry. We'll find this. The Euler store sounds like it's very well stocked. Alright. It's even got pet food. Um, I reckon uh, I'm going to end it. <laughs> I've only just opened up to the world. <laughs> yes, but I've been hearing about it. No, I didn't. I, oh, it's great. I think it's a great concept. Oh my fucking god, shut up for five fucking seconds, Mark. <laughs> well, the other thing that really shitted me was that you're a grumpy c most of the time. And then the second the camera goes on you, all of a sudden this fucking animated, nicest pie, big, largest life chat.
And then oh, the I've got to have a persona. Yeah, and then the other shot. Surrender you down! Surrender you down!